Hey everybody, Wysel Walker here. In this video we're going to go through PUBG patch notes for update 25.1. All the new features that have come into the game. There's quite a lot in this patch so we're going to jump right in. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, consider liking, subscribing to see more. So first, when can we play it? On PC, it's coming out next week on August 9th. And on console, the following week on August 17th. So one week for PC, two weeks for console. Not too bad. The map rotations is exactly the same. So you've got Arangal, Mirimev, Kendi, Sanok and Karakin together and Arangal, Tegel, Destin, Sanok and Paramore together and it alternates each week as we used to now. Now the first new major feature is the new weapon, the Dragunov, which is a 762 DMR uh, that's designed to pack a punch but have quite a slow fire rate uh, and also be quite recoily as well can take a scope up to 15, 7.62, does from 58 to 73 damage, up to 500 meters effective range, 830, takes all the AR muzzle attachments, magazine attachments, and it also has a cheat pad, but no grip on this one. It's available on every single map as a world spawn, uh, but it's not available on Blue Bottom Rush when it launches. Quite look looking forward to getting into that. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a new DMR other than the Mark 12, but 762 lies anyway. Uh, the next thing is the uh, Aston Martin collaboration, which is Crafter Pass Aston Martin. Uh, I already did a video about that, so there'll be a link in the top of the screen right now, so check that out if you haven't already. Uh, and in that video, we go through everything there is to do with the pass and how you get these cool car skins. And the next major feature is the uh, world update for Miramar, so it's like Miramar version 3. They've added new areas, added new features, and tidied up some areas and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so the first thing is a new area is Partona. Uh, this is on the uh, south southern island and it's replacing Los Higos. And it's kind of like a carnival party kind of town. Uh, it looks really good, this market area as well. It was quite exciting for gunfights. I'll probably drop here once or twice to see what it's like. Uh, new housing sets there as well. Another new area is Resort, uh, which is also quite in the south of the map as well. It's like a big mansion area. Uh, originally when this was teased, I thought it might replace Hacienda, but it, no, Hacienda is still there. It's a completely different place. We'll have a look at the map in a second. The next place is Truck Stop, uh, which also looks pretty cool. Quite open in the center. Uh, you see you've got the gas stations, which have the reusable pumps, just like they do on Destin as well. That's a confirmed feature for this map now, as well as part of the the revamp but yeah quite an interesting area uh, but quite scarce with the cover but i feel like it'll, it'll be good for gunfights and uh, if rings start to end towards this way it'll be uh, quite exciting next major feature is the sandstorm which is a new feature exclusive to miramar it replaces the red zone so you'll not have to worry about the random bombs blowing up as you're driving down the road uh, it operates quite functionally the same as the uh, tornado in vikendi where if you're in it, you just take a slight tick damage and also reduced visibility, slightly slower. Smokes and Molotovs don't work, etc. I actually prefer the Sandstorm because it's not just a circle on the map. As you see here in the map, it's it's a like a non-standard shape there and it moves across the map, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to this one as well. Uh, just the visibility there is quite reduced as well, so you know gunfights in that will be difficult. The next thing is the uh, zip line. Uh, while using the zip lines, you can use pistol and SMGs as well. You can also detach from the zip lines as well. Uh, and obviously if you're elevated enough, you'll be able to use your, your parachute there to land or you might do it into water, etc. Or you might just complete the journey. Uh, in terms of where the zip lines are, let's just have a quick zoom in. So you've got two that head down to the Southern Island here. Uh, you've got one that crosses the pass here, uh, just south of Brickyard. There's one near El Pozo. There's one between Graveyard and Power Grid. And I think, oh yeah, and there's one up here near uh, El Azahar as well. So quite a few different places. I think probably the most used ones are probably gonna be like El Pozo, Graveyard, and this one near Brickyard. Uh, El Azahar as well, rings do go over there quite a bit, crossing that canyon. We always used to call it the Death Star Trench because it is pretty risky. Uh, but yeah, that would be good. I would have liked to have seen one uh, maybe coming over from the little islands at the side. Uh, maybe like one here, that would have been awesome. Because sometimes when you land there, if you don't get a boat, you've got a bit of a swim <laughs> to do. But, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing stopping them adding more in the future or re revamping them a little bit. 
Next is a lot of areas that have been tweaked. So in here you can see, I think that's the water plant. This is the new brick area. I think it's brick yard it's called now. It used to be called Ladriella. Uh, and I can't quite remember where that one is. But yeah, so at Alcantara, they've removed the trailer park and ruins and put Alcantara there so it's closer to the heart of the map so it'll get used more. Uh, they've tweaked the roads around it and stuff like that. Brick yard has been changed as well. Completely different layout. This big building in the middle, I bet it's going to be good for loot. Uh, Campo Murat Militar, they've removed Tor Aramada and have put Campo Militar there and then where that used to be they've just added some houses. They sorted out the terrain, there's a firing range there as well now, uh, but hopefully it'll just mean that more, because it's more central, more more rings will end up there and you get the, you know, you, the unique area. Cantera has been transformed, reimagine its facility that processes, stores and manages resources required for construction. Chumasera, and it's just the surrounding area has been tweaked a bit, same with Impala. Los Leonis, they've, they've, we've got an image here, so this big building that used to be in the centre, they've replaced it with just like building works and stuff, uh, and a couple of houses and things like that. It was quite open, but it was a unique building on the map, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure it made much difference to be fair, but we'll have to see. Uh, Picardos, surrounding area has been tweaked, power grid, same. Prison has been moved, so Minister Del Sur has gone now and prison's now been put there. And they've tweaked the layouts. Water treatment. It's quite a lot of tweaks to be fair. The Southern Islands you can see has had a lot of changes, so you can see prison has moved like it says. Los Higos has gone on uh, Piatona's there. The island's now one solid bit, so there's not this little middle bridge anymore. You've got an additional bridge in the centre to cross, as well as the two zip lines. Uh, yeah, you got little houses on the outskirts as well. But also, if you look around the uh, the edge of it, it's like this was all like sheer cliffs. Whereas now, yeah, there's cliffs, but there's little beachheads across it as well. So if you do end up having to swim, you're not just going to be completely screwed. They've improved uh, pickups and Mirado vehicle spawns in both normal and ranked. Uh, new weather modes, so a new desert inspired hazy weather has been added. And the sunset has also received tweaks as well. They've improved some textures as well. This is a big one. Some of the rocks look like not even PS1 graphics, but they've improved the textures on a lot of the rocks, trees, grass, uh, a new cliff one as well. Uh, they've updated the map obviously with more detail, which is good. And then there's miscellaneous things like different building layouts, the Miramar sign different walls and patterns you can see there's more detail and stuff like that here like i said before fuel pumps have been added uh, and then other general improvements as well uh, emergency pickups you know picked up by a helicopter this is for all maps not uh, a plane so it's easy to distinguish in the sky what you're looking at uh, as it's crossing uh, six scopes have now got the ability to have the zero in from 100 to 500 they've tweaked how you equip vehicle skins as well so now if it's a basic skin, just by getting the driver's seat, it'll auto apply. Uh, special skins, you just have to do like the one second thing. Uh, and that's how it replaces. And you can choose in your settings if you replace every single time you get in or not. I personally like if the vehicle's already skinned and I take the vehicle, it leaves it as it was by the player. But each to their own. Uh, Tago care packages, they've reduced again. So minimum is still 5, max is now 10, it used to be 15. You've got ranked season 25, obviously kicking off, and at the beginning of that, you'll get your season 24 reward if you participated. A bit of a tweak to arcade, and it's nice that they're doing this after the last update, which focused solely on arcade, and they've added a new uh, team deathmatch map that's been produced solely for team deathmatch, and it's called Boardwalk, and it's like a little theme park. Uh, it looks really interesting. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't try and shoehorn this area into the new Miramar revamp, but you know, you know what's really upsetting though? It looks like a better theme park than Dino Land does in, in Vikendi. So, you know, like the water slide and everything like that, and the roller coaster. Like, Dino Land's pretty poo now, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, looking forward to jumping into a team deathmatch and having a go with that. Uh, they've switched Intense Rail to FPP, not TTP, uh, to make it a bit more intense. And, like I say, you're not playing for 30 minutes, so it's not frustrating if you die. Uh, they've added a new feature into the lobby to, for a suggested team up. So if you go into random squads and you know you play well together, it'll suggest you team up. Uh, clan tags are now uh, 
posted in more areas so you can uh, see your tag in more areas and then there's a, bu a bunch of bug fixes as well we'll not go for all the bug fixes in this but there'll be a link in the description of the video so if you uh, have a bug that's been uh, bugging you particularly then you'll be able to check if it's done but that's it so that's everything for update 25.1 quite a big update this time actually uh, looking forward to jumping in hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did consider liking and subscribe to see more Wookie out